Lou Reed was an American singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Uh, he was the lead guy for the band The Velvet Underground, who had a lot of fuss made about them, uh, retrospectively. Uh, that was between 1965 and 1973, and they were managed by Andy Warhol. They did have reunions later, but uh, Lou Reed uh, then uh, embarked on a solo career, which started in 1972, which was very successful. He was best known for his single, Take a Walk on the Wild Side, and he released 20 solo albums before he died in 2013. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was Lou Reed's eighth solo studio album, and it's my first time listening to it. Um, and apparently this is the first album to be recorded using binaural techniques, uh, and in particular using a, a dummy head. So what they do is they get a dummy head, imagine that I'm a dummy, and they get a microphone in each ear, and they record, I can't hear very well now, uh, they record it through those microphones so that it sounds like uh, it would sound inside the head of a person. Uh, consequently, this album works best on headphones because that's where that places those uh, those sound elements in exactly the right place. Uh, you don't get quite the same stereo image on uh, other in other situations that you would. Um, so I've described this as rock uh, with some elements of chamber rock. Uh, there's classical strings, at least in Street Hassle. There's some drone stuff in here, drone techniques, particularly on the guitar used. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of loose-ish rock. Um, and uh, I don't like doing too much referring to other people, but I think to reference both David Bowie and Iggy Pop, at this point would be uh, a reasonable thing to do in terms of style. Um, and uh, I know that there was, there was a kind of melting pot of people who it, which involved um, both Debbie Bowie and Iggy Pop. Uh, I think a bit earlier than this, but yeah, okay. Um, so his singing is has got quite a distinctive voice. It's quite a laconic sound. Uh, he sounds cool and he sounds cynical. It's not pretty singing in that it's not kind of technically you know accurate and hitting notes and doing uh what i call uh, vocal gymnastics but it's is a it, this sounds like it's negative it's not a thick voice which means there's a lot of tone to it and it's strong um so there's quite a lot of presence uh, to his voice um the songs are about various things. Uh, the title track, Street Hassle, I probably found the most engaging of them. It's an 11 minute suite of three parts, and it focuses, if I work this out right, on a, a girl having had a, an overdose at a party and having died. And the conversation between the host and the person who brought the girl is certainly seems to be part of the song. It's kind of disturbing in a thoughtful kind of way. Um, the song Dirt is apparently about uh, an ex-manager of his. Otherwise, it's about, yeah, it's kind of general rock stuff about life. Maybe there's uh, some drug references at times in here. And there's certainly a, a, a decent amount of adult content in this. It's uh, It can be kind of suddenly, surprisingly, not safe for work. So I wouldn't play this album at work. Um as always, we come to the cat of the question, what did I think of it? Did I like it or not? Well, um, I'm kind of, I, I mildly enjoyed it. I know he's a, a big deal. And I know there are people who think that, uh, I, I know he was very influential. Um, I'm not sure that this album was particularly influential. Um, uh, so, um, but does that colour what I think about it? Maybe sometimes, um, but I, I mildly enjoyed it. I didn't hate it, but it didn't excite me that much either. So uh, a fairly muted response from me. It's got some highlights in it, but generally overall, it's a bit loose in some ways. Yeah, well, yeah so that's what I think. Um, and as always, I'm having the difficulty of coming to an end, so I'm going to ask you, as I usually do, please do tell me what you think of this album. And that's it from me for now. Was in Matilda without her wallet, a sexy boy smiled in dismay. She took out four twenties cause she liked brown figures. Everybody's free for a day. Oh, baby.
I'm on fire and you know I admire your body, why don't we slip away?